right, so I watched the videos a couple of times, and you have decent fundamentals, but you have one major flaw. And I'm gonna try to highlight that and show you many examples as, as much as I can so you can see, identify the flaw, and figure out a way to improve on it. All right, so every time you throw punches, or even before you throw your punches, you leave your head directly in the middle. It's in the center line. You might have parried that, but you left your head in the middle as you back straight out. You always leave your head in the center. And you, you, you attack in direct lines. Right? See how you leave your head right there? And it's a common theme. And you're going to do it in both sparring sessions against both opponents. This guy can only do so much since his, since his offense is uh, not as good. But you'll notice, you go straight in with your head right there, ready to be hit. All right, you, keep, you keep attacking in straight lines with your head in the center, upright. You see, just watch your head and your head positioning during the entire sparring session. See, you started going your head low but then you ended it in the middle and he tagged you because you always return your head to the center line and you don't you don't attack at angles you go straight in straight out straight in straight out so anyone who knows how to punch down the middle is going to give you problems because your head is is directly there for them to hit and it always is but you don't see it being bad because right now you're able to you're you're better offensively than your opponent so you don't see it as a flaw when you fight guys like this because they can't hit you but now we have a more experienced guy who knows how to you see how he puts his head off at angles at times right after anticipating your punches you see he moves his head but you look at your head look at your head your head is directly in the middle directly in the middle directly in the middle right and this is when you pay the price you move straight in straight out you leave your head in the middle you take the direct shots down the line look at your head you see how you do the uppercut and you leave your head straight in the middle you punch and then you leave your head straight in the middle and your head's still in the middle still in the middle you see you line yourself with your head again I'm gonna keep repeating it because I need you to be able to see it but your head is always in the middle so again Anyone who knows how to who knows how to punch down the line, he's going to give you trouble. Perfect example: you weave the first punch, but you get hit by the straight punch down the middle. You have to be able to move your head side to side and go at angles. If you keep going straight in, straight out, leave your head in the upright in the middle, you're going to get tagged against a fighter who knows how to punch down the line difficulty landing your punches on him because he's able to block and move his head you see that you lift your head in the middle down the line he follows through and flushes with the punch straight down the middle I would recommend that you practice slipping from side to side and moving your head you know like that like you just did but you need to do it more often because you always leave your head in the middle you have to take your head off, offline. Because if you leave it in the middle, and the thing is, when you leave it in the middle, your guard is not necessarily in the position to protect you from, from middle-like punches. You always have that space to see in between, and that's where they hit you.